Okay, could you say your name? Uh, James Fago Clark. Okay, and um, so, James, we're in Sac uh, Sacramento, where, of course, the criminalization of poor people is the same all across the stolen indigenous territory. Could you tell uh, listeners and viewers what's happening specifically in terms of the criminalization piece for y'all? Have you had, How many times have you had your stuff taken? What's going on? Well, right now, uh, we're in the middle of a full-on occupation of City Hall. Uh, the first few weeks, it went really nice, and this occupation is to... Uh, fight against the criminalization of the homeless. And what we were able to do in the first three weeks before police came in was we were able to have a safe place where people could sleep, which is illegal in, in Sacramento, uh, give away tarps, sleeping bags, food, uh, 24 hours a day. We had warmth for people. Uh, pe we were able to give people a place where they could heal, where they could get better from whatever was wrong with them that during that period, just to rest. And the city's response, was for the criminalization. They uh, sent over 50 officers in riot gear to uh, raid our, our protest, uh, arrested seven of us, uh, three sight and release, and four book and release. Uh, they then began a policy where now every 24 hours we either have to switch our gear out or they're going to take it. Switch your gear out, meaning you uh, move? Whatever supplies we have. Wow. Um, and since we're uh, a stationed occupation, um, it makes it a little difficult because we can't just move everything because then we're not occupying that space. So what we have to do at this point is uh, bring in a completely different set of supplies and get rid of the supplies we have to avoid it getting confiscated. Wow. Now this is something that the average homeless individual faces on a daily basis. You know, some of the people we've had uh, show up, they weren't able to get any sleep. They're sitting there with diabetes, let feet swollen got boot rot because they've been afraid to take their shoes off and completely sleep deprived. And, you know, after three days of rest, these individuals are right back up to being on top of their game, their brain's back functioning, and they're able to go and improve their situation a little bit. But it needs the rest. Exactly. And currently our city's uh, on a stance where anybody with a sleeping bag is a criminal. Mm, same, know? yeah. Um, and they say no sleep that it's not about the sleeping, but every time the cops come and check on our occupation it's to see if anybody's sleeping <laughs> exactly. anybody sleeping gets a ticket or goes to jail wow automatically can, so. can you tell listeners and viewers um before you guys started the occupation were you facing the same thing how many times approximately were um officers taking your stuff you know i i didn't really get as much stuff taken per se uh, i always kept mine with me stuff like that um, but I did, before I became an activist, I was getting all kinds of camping tickets. Um, for the sole act of sleeping. For the sole act of sleeping. On the street. Um, and that, that was the number one issue I had. Now that I've become kind of an activist, the cops kind of recognize me and leave me alone a little bit more than everybody Interesting. else. Interesting, yeah. But I still am getting a lot of reports from other people on the streets that they're not not—they're getting drunk like six, seven times a night sometimes. Wow. wow. And they're expected to try to go and function in society again the next day. Like, exactly. It doesn't make any sense. Can uh, you so. tell listeners and viewers in terms of what the cops specifically are telling you about this idea of, you know, you have to not have your same supplies or whatever... Um, do they ever give you shelter referrals? Do they give you anything, or they is have. it? They're all like not not adequate to the people that are offering them to. You know, we've got a drug-free, uh, alcohol-free environment at our protest, and they're offering to take us to detox uh, or a warming center where you can't sleep, and you're going to be kicked out at 4:15 in the morning. Uh, they're offering us services that are no longer in service. <laughs> You know, and if you don't take the services, then you're risking arrest. Wow. Okay. Anything so. else you'd like to say to uh, PNN? If anything, uh, if you guys want to follow on with our occupation, check out our Facebook page, Community Dinner Project. Uh, we update it as much as possible uh, while maintaining an occupation. You can see some footage of the different incidences and all the uh, news clips from it. Oh, Omadale, thank you.